Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a ton of interesting things to go over for the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC. Pokemon have been putting out a bunch of hints towards a official reveal of the new Terrapagos Pokemon name typing. We could be getting a new DLC trailer next week. We've got some other bits and bobs to go over for the Generation 9 games as well. Plenty of stuff to talk about. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video subscribe if you're brand new for daily pokemon content ring the notification bell with all of that out of the way let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off why do we think we might be getting a new dlc trailer next week well i feel like we're definitely going to get some sort of official reveal for the new terrapagos pokemon soon because pokemon themselves have been tweeting out a ton of hints about turtles and tortoises and stuff like that and i mean all the evidence is clearly here as posted by soul silver art saying uh, what is going on with some of the official pokemon twitter accounts they are posting a ton of turtles i was so perplexed when i saw them post the sword and shield gift first but now it makes sense also, Shuckle is in there. So, yeah, Pokemon Unite have been tweeting out um, Blastoise stuff. I mean, that could just be a coincidence because it's just, like, new Hollowware or whatever it's called for Blastoise in Pokemon Unite. But, I mean, Pokemon themselves have been tweeting out um, this image here, like this Pokemon camp for Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield, where there's literally just a, a bunch of tortoises and turtles. Um, you've got all these different turtle like Pokemon, Torkoal, Turtonator, Averlug, um, stuff like that. And as well as that, we also have this from Pokemon Masters EX. Hard shells, soft hearts, can't lose, which is your favorite sync pair that features a friend-shaped Pokemon. And we have all of these different turtles in the background. Torkoal once again, Squirtle, um, all of these different turtle-like Pokemon. And then also the Pokemon TCG is also tweeting out um, Blastoise pictures as well, just pictures of turtles and tortoises. And not only that, Pokemon themselves also tweeted this out. So Soul Silver are putting, and now this lot, I mean, this is what it was for, but also why, and what will happen on April 28th when it's done, very sus. So it's a Pokemon shell, uh, celebration on Pokemon TV. From now until April the 28th, tune in for a totally awesome collection of Pokemon the series episodes featuring the Squirtle Squad, Turtwig, Tootle, and other turtle-like Pokemon. Um, I know they saw my Paradox Shuckle joke tweet and added him in there, even though he's a worm with a shell, but Either way, yeah, it's obviously for this Pokemon Day thing, oh, Pokemon Day, this Pokemon kind of like celebration thing here. But at the same time, it says from now until April the 28th. Now, April the 28th is next um, Friday, which again, could be potentially a new uh, DLC trailer day or something like that. Or we might just get some sort of DLC next week regardless. Um, just simply because Terrapagos is the new turtle Pokemon that they've been tweeting out a ton of like information about or not, I guess like hints and stuff about. And now they're just tweeting out all these turtle and turtle and tortoises stuff. As well as that, we're getting the DLC download car uh, card codes on Monday, which also could come with a DLC. I don't, I don't know. I feel like it's all adding up to some sort of new DLC reveal. It's probably going to be about the new Terrapagos Pokemon. Um, but either way, we might get the typing of it, the, the official name and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I just think it's very, very interesting. They're tweeting out all of this turtle stuff. They're having this turtle kind of celebration thing. And we're, we've just been like introduced to this new turtle Pokemon. It it's a bit interesting. It's a bit weird. Again, nothing set in stone. But it, it, it's very, very likely that it's got something to do with that. Especially because the DLC download codes are on Monday. And then this is also taking place next week. It's just very interesting. And then we also have Light tweeting out this about uh, about this saying, Fun fact, all turtles related to Terrapagos and the new baby turtle Pokemon. Please no more hint, uh, hints and proper information. Probably we will have a video in the next few days. I don't think they are just trolling us. Again, you'll have to kind of come up with your own conclusions. I just think it's very, very interesting that they're just giving us all of this turtle and tortoise content. Uh, when we have literally just been introduced to this new turtle Pokemon. Very, very interesting. I'm very, very excited to see how it all kind of comes together. But yeah, next week, I think we, we very well could see some sort of new DLC trailer. I don't think it's going to be anything massive in regards to like new kind of features and gameplay and stuff. I think it's just going to be about Terrapagos and like a, an official reveal, reveal trailer. Just one of those like minute and a half trailers where it's got like gameplay of it. It's got the typing. It's got the moves. Uh, it's got the name. And that could also give an idea of Terrapagos. Maybe it's a trailer showing Terrapagos and this new Pokemon. And then it's showing the typings of all of them. Who knows? But um, yeah, next week, definitely keep your eyes out for something. Because I think they are going to be revealing something. Uh, we also have this as well by Soul Silver Art Talking about uh, the mysterious Pokeball from Roy. Now, I'm recording this before Episode 3 of the Pokemon Horizons anime. So we may actually already have found out what kind of uh, is in the Pokeball. But it's very unlikely. But... 
Soul Silver Art tweeted here saying, uh, before Pokemon Horizons released, the Pokemon company hyped up these two items and the two protagonists have making them very, very special. So obviously Lyco's Pendant and Roy's Pokeball. In the first episodes, we learned that Lyco's Pendant is related to Terrafagos. What if they were saving Roy for later because his Pokeball could be related to Ogapon? Think about the uh, name of this episode. It's called the Adrift Treasure. Of course, we can also uh, we also can't forget about the Shiny Rayquaza, but at the same time, we've seen Shiny Pokemon in the anime before. They don't usually need a special Pokeball to be captured. Roy also will witness a mysterious Pokemon. I guess Rayquaza could be considered that, but that's so mysterious about a Shiny Rayquaza. Roy's whole passion is catching Legendaries too, if I remember correctly. What if Ogapon can only be caught in this ball because of the power of its max it's just an idea so this is a synopsis of the episode so yeah it says the adrift treasure and again i'm recording this before this actually is but it says when the rising vault tackler's airship makes an emergency landing on a remote island the ship's Fuecoco disappears lyco and sprigatito land on the island in search of Fuecoco. on the other hand roy a boy who lives on that remote island witnesses a mysterious pokemon so it could even be an ogre pond kind of situation we might even see a new pokemon revealed tomorrow uh, like on the friday as well i'm recording this on the thursday which is why i said tomorrow um but uh yeah it could also be like uh, a new form of ogapon or something like that who knows but um i think this it, it could be very very interesting um uh, what this kind of whole pokeball is we still have not had a mythical pokemon for this generation yet either so it could be a, a certain gs ball situation um so that's that finishing things off we have this really interesting new uh video that's emerged for pokemon scarlet and violet it was tweeted out by centro leagues but um basically there's an interview um on uh, cg world with uh, creatures inc and stuff and basically they've kind of like spoken about um how they've made these models in like 60 fps and stuff which is very very interesting for future pokemon games but either way centrally saying on a cg world interview creatures inc have confirmed that for this generation all pokemon animations have been redone at 60 fps and may be used in future games so obviously we don't have 60 fps in pokemon at the moment but pokemon animations have been on, have been done in 60 fps i feel like this is for the next console the next nintendo console which apparently is going to get revealed this year here's a sample of that sweet sweet smoothness so this is the 50 fps animation so this is quaxley here so this is him doing the attacks and stuff looks so so clean looks really really nice so much better than what it looks like on the switch and then this is um what's it called uh, oh my god i forgot his name they've got fido here just having a little snooze and then we also have up next uh, i think sandy shocks is next now we have uh, Persimion here but again looks really really nice really really smooth and then we have Gumi here. It just looks so, so good. And this is for every single Pokemon as well that, they, that it's in this generation. So I don't know if this is also including like the DLC Pokemon that are going to be coming back or if it's just a Pokemon that are already in the game. But either way, they all already have 60 FPS. So that's really interesting because maybe Pokemon Scarlet and Violet will be on the new Nintendo console and maybe it has updated graphics and maybe all of these 60 FPS Pokemon are going to be in that game potentially. It'd be very, very interesting if that is the case. So this is a comparison of Persimian's model and animations between Gen 7 and... Um, uh, an 8 on the top and Gen 9 the bottom. So this is Gen 7 and 8. So this is, um, yeah, Sword and Shield. And this is Generation 9, the new 60 FPS. So yeah, as you can see, it's a lot more smoother. I remember to have $400 also ready to buy Nintendo's next-gen console before, uh, before even dreaming of seeing this live for yourself. You still have months to save. So again, you know, the, the next console very well could be revealed this year. It seems to be what the kind of... Um, synopsis and stuff like that it is is very well going to be on its way and so yeah maybe pokemon scarlet and violet will be showing these 60 fps models on that which is going to be really cool really exciting it's gonna be expensive but very, very exciting we'll have this interview as well with um the cg world obviously and there's nothing like really crazy but um there's uh this here that they're talking about so what did the 3d asset production of pokemon scarlet and violet start with so more than 400 types of pokemon appeared in scarlet and violet um, of which about 120 were new Pokemon. For that, Game Freak creates setting materials and motion instructions. It includes a three-sided drawing, a collection of poses for standby and attack, facial expression settings, etc. Based on that, our model team creates a 3D model next. The Pokemon company and Game Freak will supervise the model, and once the approval is given, we'll hold a meeting where the in-house art director, modeling and motion lead, and the animator uh, in charge gather together. Uh, In-house, we call this character making and we check the Pokemon settings and movement direction. For example, we will match the individuality of the Pokemon as a species and the range of motion of the joints. Basically, we'll follow Game Freak's setting materials, uh, but what is written there is mainly attack motions. There are mainly parts where we leave the emotional expression of emotions to us. The modeler is in charge of joint settings and skinning, etc, etc, etc. And then, do you adjust the joints according to the animation's opinions? Um, it's just a really cool interview, to be fair. It's on Twitter if you want to check it out yourself. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of talking about 
I just get a guess how they, they make the models and stuff and how they kind of incorporate them into the, the games and everything. But uh, yeah, really, really excited to see these on like the next gen console. I think that's probably what it's going to be for. Um, and it's also going to be in a future game as well. I think all future Pokemon games are kind of probably be 60 FPS on the new console. I, I'd be very surprised if they weren't. So you might have to get used to seeing stuff like this. Because, yeah, I don't know. Future of Pokemon looks good. Really, really excited about it. But that is going to be everything for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do consider hitting the like button down below. It's trying to hit 500 likes. Really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we covered in today's video. What are your thoughts on all of these, like, hints? These turtle-like things that are popping up all over Twitter. Again, it has to be for the new Terap uh, Terrapagos Pokemon, but we'll have to wait and see. And then, uh, what do you think Roy's mysterious Pokeball is going to be? Again, might already be shown. I'm recording this before the episode's aired. What are your thoughts on the animations and stuff? Let me know. That's everything from me, though. Drop a like if you enjoyed us trying at 500. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.